Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over the Savage Cub Gold Farm. Let us begin. Okay, so today we're going to be going over the Savage Cub Gold Farm. This one is located within the Tanan jungle within the Wad expansion. What you're going to be wanting to do is go over towards Fangrilla and just over here you'll be able to find the Black Fan Savages. These all have a chance of dropping Black Fang Claws, which is a currency in order to get a hold of this battle pet. The ideal gold farming route is literally just by going on a mass destroying spree with all of these mobs. These are fairly easy to take out now these days and will also increase your reputation with the Saber Stalkers at the exact same time. This means that if you want to turn this into a reputation gold farm then you can and you also have the chance of getting a hold of the Savage Cub in general. That being said, the amount of these Black Fang Claws that you actually get along with this on in your bags is quite a hefty amount in an hour's worth of farming. You're able to get roughly around about three battle pets from this, and that means that you can get a decent chunk of gold overall. And you can even take this a step further and get more Black Fang Claws if you do this in a two times four or a five man group all running around taking out all of these guys. A little keynote for this is if you're actually farming these guys up in a group or just by yourself, you can always do a single targeting macro of slash tar black fang and that just leave it at that and it will target all of these guys and you can just one shot every single one of them. However, I prefer to do it on my feral druid and use my swipe ability in order to take them out. I find that to be the most effective way for myself. However, if you're doing it in a group, single targets are probably better in that grand scheme or using an ox statue to gather all of the mobs into separate zones. However, it will take you roughly around about two ox statues in order to do this. So getting two monks in your group is probably a little harder than than it conventionally would. However, the best farm thing about this gold farm is yeah, they actually have a chance of dropping a nice sort of wad transmog to go along with this and that works out really well in the grand scheme of things. However, after an hour's worth of gold farming, you'll be wanting to head over towards the Quartermaster for the Saber Stalkers and jump all the way over here. Speak to this guy over here and he will give you a chance of buying some some of these lovely little items that come along with this. Unfortunately, with this character, my character, Corthana, you will need reputation in order to buy this. However, once you've been farming this for over for quite a while, when you when I was actually doing this with my demon hunter a few weeks back, I managed to get exalted incredibly fast, and I was able to purchase this. So in about an hour or two or worth of farming, you should be around about exalted. However, the Savage Cub it goes as follows. You need to be revered with the Saber Stalkers in order to buy this battle pet and sell it on the auction house. Along with that, as an additional note, you also can get a hold of two lovely mounts, which is the Wild Gore Tusk mount and the Bristling Hellbore for the exact same, for 1,000 Black Fang Claws and 5,000 Black Fang Claws. These are relatively easy to farm up and all you need for farming this for the Savage Cub is 1,500 uh, Black Fang Claws in order to sell on the auction house. This means that you can actually buy so many of these like battle pets just in general just by farming this for an hour or two and you can just have a nice stockpile on the auction house. And overall, this is a gold farm that's very underutilized as the, as the sell rate on this is 0.01 which is okay for a battle pet however if you save it till squirt day and you level up to 25 you can also boost that from 10,000 gold for one battle pet to 14,000 gold per battle pet however if you if you're farming this for around about an hour i usually can buy around about three or four of these depending on how efficient i am with my farming that means that i can get around about around about 30,000 to 40,000 gold per hour by myself so if you put that into convention with a group or group farming you're going to be able to get more per hour along with the wad additional transmog you can definitely increase your gold per hour by considerable amount and is a prize pick for gold farming in general. Other than that guys, if you want any other tips or tricks or any other video content, then please feel free to go over towards the Patreon where I go over different types of gold making methods that you can apply today to make gold starting now. Other than that, have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be soon. Mm -hmm.